So I'm just out back working on the bike again. Uh, we've just got the bars in, so I'm just fitting those just to stop the forks from dropping out. The truth. Hello, hello, hello. Right, so I thought I might as well detail the new bike just while I've got the other one. Just pretty much getting ready to put her away. There's Jello Cervello just in the background there. So this is the Moab, mother of all bikes. This is the work in progress that I've just finished installing the handlebars on. I'm just going to put the key in for now. Um, and this will become probably my new commuter. Not quite sure entirely on the exact specifics of this bike until I actually start really getting into it. But I do know I've still got parts on order that are on the way and waiting for those to come. Um, other than that, just having a think here. That front wheel's temporary. We're swapping it out for the one that's on Gelotabello. That's probably going to go on there. Um, and then I'm going to turn that into a little 250 watt putter around a thing in Probably. I don't know. I might just sabaton it and crank as much power through that motor as I can. Um, back of the bike here. Got a nice little trailing swing arm. Um, rear shock. Sides are all metal. This frame is actually quite substantial, I'm impressed. Uh, we've got the seat post here, which I haven't finished bolting down yet, so if I uh, <laughs> if I forget about that when I do the next section of this build and get the crank set and the rear wheel done, <laughs> that's going to be fun. <clears throat> I was going to try using the rear wheel off Gelosavello, but that's a wider spacing, 200mm, whereas Gelosavello is 130mm. Um, going to pump this shock up once I've done as well because these have little um, little shredder valves in them and you can pump them up there's a little bit of pressure in there because it is under load at the moment I could just let that out if I wanted to look. say goodbye to all your pressure uh, there's also a lock here let's just to lock that in place if I needed to cranks not got the um, crank arms yet so that's not there I'm gonna get a stand for it as well because there's a fairly substantial mount just there that I really need to use um, that one had a stand but it snapped <laughs> unsurprisingly um, well, uh, got a mount for a front disc brake on this so I'm probably gonna go hydraulic uh, I've already got a set of brakes lined up for that um, other than that that's pretty much everything so far I have a laundry list of stuff that needs to be done to this bike in terms of just getting it to a point where it can be ridden even without power um, but in the basics uh, need the rear wheel that's on order that's on its way in swapping out the front wheel for the one on Gelosavello as soon as I'm ready to do so and then that one is going on that bike I'm gonna drop the power down a bit on that uh, but I'm keeping that because that's been sort of my trusty little commuter for the past god knows how many uh, thousand miles and um, this one, like I say, pretty much the bare bones is there, the cores there, so that's all done. i um, going to probably need to trim this post down on the forks so that the stem sits like closer in. This is supposed to put tension on the bearings just so that it doesn't feel loose when you're trying to turn. Um, and prolongs the life of the bearings as well just so you don't end up freaking losing them when you're trying to ride down a hill or some shit but uh, yeah shit to do again need to get the rear wheel need to get a controller for said rear wheel because that's going to be a beast of a fucking motor is that one need to do the electronics need to get a battery we need to get controls lighting probably going to get a pedal assist sensor long list of shit to do so I'm going to leave it at that for now and I'm going to sort of post little updates as I go along uh, just sort of detailing what I do to this bike and uh, see where she goes. <laughs>